Hey guys, it's me Ural here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to prevent or stop GPU kernel panics on your mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now if you guys didn't know, GPU kernel panics are usually because of a failing capacitor use on the graphics. Now this is a hardware-based problem, so you're going to need a lot of skills in order to fix it permanently. Well, there's nothing permanent, it is still the same reoccurring issue which is a failing capacitor. So basically, it will not have enough power to provide the GPU, which causes it to crash and all that, blah, blah, blah. I have a couple of solutions here that might be helpful with you guys. Number one is the GFX card status. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a very famous application used on the 2011 MacBook Pros. Now, what this does is forces your MacBook to use integrated graphics only. Now, sometimes it usually switches to discrete only. However, this will try to force it to use integrated graphics only as the integrated graphics is the most reliable graphics you have on your MacBook Pro 2010. Now, keep in mind, you're going to go to preferences and make sure load GFX card at startup is checked. Anyway, it's a very simple fix. Moving on to the other one. So the other fix is a very heavily community developed application. It is called the MacBook Pro Mid 2010 GPU Fix, literally. Now you will have to disable your system integrity protection or SIP. What this does is basically, you know, prevent from malware from attacking your computer and all that. So you will have to keep that in mind. Now this is not a permanent solution. However, it is one way to prevent kernel panics from happening. So let's get started. In order for this patch to work, you're going to have to disable SIP. So what you need to do is shut down your computer, press Command R while trying to start the computer. This will lead you to the recovery mode. Now, once you are in recovery, I'll just continue. Now what you're going to do is click Utility, Terminal, and type in what I specifically type on the screen. Now once you have typed this, you're going to press Enter, and it should say successfully disabled system integrity protection. Now what you can do after this is just click the Apple logo in the top left and restart. Here right here I have the application booted into my flash drive. You don't really have to put it in a flash drive. Now keep in mind you will have to disable your SIP before doing this or else it will not work at all. You open it and it will take a while to load. If you guys see this error, it can't be identified because it's an identified developer. You just click OK. Go to system preferences and then you go to security and privacy and you should be able to see here macbook pro 2010 gpu fix was blocked from opening because blah 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 you click open anyway and it should be able to open it so let it load now this macbook does have a mechanical hard drive so things are not as fast as they are supposed to be if you have a ssd now before we get started, you want to make sure that you're running in one of these versions. This application is only compatible with 10.10, 10.11, 10.12, 10.13, and 10.14 for now. So here we are. I did zoom in a little bit just for you guys to see better. So this is the application. Once you've opened it, saying checking compatibility, make sure you have the mid-2010 MacBook. This application will only be working solely for the 2010 MacBook. If you have a 2008, 2009, this will not work for you. So all you have to do is just patch MacBook. And then it will warn you, this will patch your kernel configuration. And just click yes, and it will ask for your password. So what you gotta do is just type your computer password. Mine is 123456. I don't know what your password is, but <laughs> mine's pretty simple. And it says MacBook Pro fixed successfully. Very simple. All you have to do now is exit out and restart your computer. You should be good to go. That should pretty much be it. Once after you have disabled your SIP and used the patch, 
most of the time this patch will be working perfectly if it still crashes and causes kernel panics um, you can always try it again if not then unfortunately this might not be the solution for you but i hope you guys enjoy this video me personally this is very very helpful not only this will prevent your gpu from failing this will also make your macbook last a lot longer than what it's supposed to be i'll see you guys later peace out